More great questions today? Here we go. Tim says, can two people who are vaccinated eat lunch together, sitting next to each other, without masks? Maybe even giving each other a hug? Has the CDC come out with its recommendations? Good news for you, Tim. The answer is yes, yes, and heck yes. Let's take a look first at what it means to be fully vaccinated. That means that it's two weeks after your last shot. Okay, so whether it's Moderna or Pfizer or the others, two weeks after the last shot, and uh, then you are fully vaccinated. You can safely visit indoors, no mask, no social distancing with other people who are fully vaccinated. Also, it's okay to visit unvaccinated people if they are low risk and it's just one household. So for example, grandparents who are fully vaccinated can visit their daughter and grandkids who are not vaccinated as long as they are not high risk. You do not have to quarantine if you're exposed to COVID positive persons. You should probably though isolate if you have symptoms and you should still avoid medium and large crowds, avoid travel and keep wearing a mask and keep your social distance in public because not everybody has the vaccine yet. In fact, most people still don't, although millions more are getting it every single day. Great question, thank you. Here's a question from Thane. I'm really tired of hearing how many people are not getting vaccinated yet. There's no focus on the limited supply and the challenges of distributing a vaccine that is in short supply or encouraging people to be patient. Thane, I hear what you're saying. You're saying, stop being so negative, you guys. And sometimes we do believe that's our role to keep a sharp eye on the government and see what's going on and point out the things that could be done better. And there's been no shortage of those. But your point is things are going well for the short supply. And you're right. Things are being done very efficiently these days, especially we're hearing at the Oregon Convention Center. And let me just tell you this, a bit of good news, Mr. Thane, $110 million just came from FEMA today for the state of Oregon. Now I know it's all taxpayer money, but federal money coming into the state to help pay for all the vaccination efforts going on around the state so that like the four hospitals that are coordinating on the Oregon Convention Center don't have to worry about losing all kinds of money because they're doing a good thing for the community. And it's also going to be spread around to all the counties all over the state so that as they're taking steps for this pandemic and protecting their communities, they'll be reimbursed for that out of this $110 million. So I hope that helps. That's a little bit of good news, Mr. Thane. I hope that whets your appetite. We'll try and get a little bit more in as we go along. Thanks for all your great questions, though. Please keep them coming. That's what's going on with the vaccine today.